ladies and gentlemen. You know, the flu season started early this year. They start hearing about flu cases as early as August this year. This is a 29-year-old attorney from Riley, North Carolina, and she is the third fatality from flu complications in that state. So let's get into the story. So a 29-year-old Riley woman has died from apparent cardiac event following complications from the flu. It may have actually been a little more there than just the flu. Scarlett Van Story Levinson passed away Tuesday. She was originally from Fayetteville and was working as an attorney at Levinson Axford, which has offices in Riley and Benson. Okay. So she is the third. Now, apparently they had an elderly woman the week before. She died from the flu. In addition, a Wake County school board member passed away from complications from the flu last month. So they had a fatality down there in September and two in October so far. And this is, my goodness, this is what, the fourth? It's only the beginning of October. 2017 was one of the deadliest flu seasons in recent North Carolina history with 391 deaths just in that state alone. Doctors are urging people to get vaccinated. We know they want to give out the flu shot to everybody and, you know, this is what happened last year and the flu shot they gave out did not cover the flu that was out for the season. So, you know, this is really early in the game for people to be dying. 29 years old. Wow. Wow. Well, you know, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you get your immune systems up. And be careful going out in public. I know you can't always avoid everyone, especially when you're going in stores to shop, to buy food, um, you know, grocery shopping. I'll never forget one year we had, um, it was a bad flu outbreak. And this is when I was still working in corporate America. And what I used to do, as soon as I would get off from work, a lot of times I would just drive straight to the supermarket before going home. I would just do my grocery shopping. And I will never forget this man was standing over by the produce and he was just coughing and wheezing and carrying on. I was like, he's coughing over all over the produce. And he was just standing there and just gagging and coughing. I'm like, damn. So it's easy to get contaminated is no telling how many people came behind him in that same area and bought the produce. You know, I, you know, I just, I remember that distinctively because he had such a terrible hacking cough in the store. So be careful out there. Try to build up your immune system, not only for yourself, for your whole family, especially your children, children in many cases, are your biggest culprit in bringing that home to the family. And it's not really of no fault of their own. Unfortunately, many people in this country send sick children to school and they have no regard to the children that are in the classroom around that one person. They think they're doing something great by sending a sick child to school and they're getting their education. Sometimes you just got to put things on the back burner and take care of your health first. Please tell me what you think about this story, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.